Hello, everybody. It is I, Go Pet Your Cat, from Go Pet Your Cat. You really should go pet your cat. Anyway, it's time to do another long build and review. This one specifically is the Star Wars Duel on Mustafar. Apologies to any true Star Wars fans if I am if I am butchering that pronunciation. I'm sure there's I'm, I'm sure that was wrong. I'm almost certain that was wrong. <laughs> All right, how do we open this? I uh, guess start with that. Then I guess and then what? So just I think that should be very simple. Um, huh? Interesting. Oh, well, there we go. Let's do that, and then. I'm gonna ruin the box too much, but. Might be enough. Okay, yep. Yeah. Here we go. It's a lot fewer pieces than I was expecting, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> I guess most of the pieces, at least according to the box right here in the description, they're, they're quite large. So, scooting in, I see this time we've got two bags. One of them is one, the other one is not one. So, I am not much of a Star Wars fan. At least not as much as a few people I know. I'm more of a Star Trek guy myself. <laughs> However, this set is from a famous scene in Revenge of the Sith, where, um, well, let's just say Anakin goes insane and has a duel with his old mentor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I am sorry, any real Star Wars fans, again, if I'm completely butchering the plot, <laughs> as normal. But... That is fine. Let's just put that aside and build a set. A long build a set. First, got some minifigs. We got Obi-Wan. Red hair. Coincidentally, I too also have red hair. So, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell it, except in the, the video where my face is revealed, but... Eh. It's okay. Looks like... At the end, I'm going to do... Or probably I'm probably going to commit um, blasphemy, as, as far as Star Wars terms go, and uh, <laughs> attempt to uh, recreate this, the famous... I have the high ground scene. <laughs> this could go, this could get me canceled on social media. <laughs> anyway. Seems that we are building some lava. Very cool, very cool. This is the other new set that I got on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And now we are going to uh, build it. This is the last new set that's straight out of the box. So any set in the future that I build will likely be a set I've already built. Well, unless, of course, I happen to go back to the store, which I probably won't until like May. It'll be a while until, like, a new set long build, to say the least. Okay, the instructions just want to, the pages just want to fly on, fly up. I don't think so, sir. Don't do that. Please, don't do that. <laughs> don't want them flying up and distracting me and making me lose my place. That would not be fun. Not fun at all. Pretty well detailed set from what I can tell in the back. I'm not sure which part of the scene that this is that the set is based off of. It's certainly not the area where the high ground scene happened. So 
it won't be entirely accurate to the movie, of course. <laughs> but then again, I don't think anything I, I could do would be as legendary as the performance that was given. Hmm. All right. So we continue on. Side here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Continuing on, we have some more lava. Including a tall pillar. Tall two by two by um two by one pillar. I was gonna say two by two, but I knew I knew it wasn't that. <laughs> And then some more rocks. Lovely, lovely. So we've got some of this. This is merely one part of the two parts. Structure, two-part structure. That's what that's what it is. It was merely one part of the two-part structure. Quite fascinating, I must admit. Okay, I'm adjust my lamp a little bit. Every time I add pieces, it seems like my hand is just getting in the way. I don't know why. It's getting in the way of where the lamp should be shining. Therefore, I can't really uh you know, see the pieces. Kind of annoying, I must be honest. <laughs> All right. Ooh, now we begin a separate section. <laughs> Putting that to the side. Lava dripping. Not really dripping, actually. More like going off on the side. Just, flo just flowing. Just, just chilling. Ooh. We have a hook here. That's that's going to connect the two sides together. I see. So far, this seems to be. What is the um, reddest sets I've ever built? At least it's just turning out to be that way. And boom. It's disconnected. To secure that connection even further, get a flat piece. Make it look more streamlined, I suppose. Ooh bunch of extra lava additions. Oh. That's rather annoying. There we go. Fixed. Fixed. Oh, that was upside down. Whoops. Anyway, while I continue to build this, let me tell you guys about the time I first saw this movie. Okay, it was it was back in October, actually. Late October. And I was on a camping trip with a group of friends. There was adult supervision, of course. And um it was it was late at night and we all got around a nice, cozy area by a trailer because one of the people who came on the camp out had a trailer, and on that on the side of that trailer was a TV. See, that connected to I'm guessing it connected to some wires in the trailer. Wouldn't be surprised anyway, and um. 
So yeah, it was an outside TV, and what you could do with this TV, you see, is you could sit outside and watch movies on it. So it was very late at night. Like, say it was almost midnight by that point, by the start of it. Probably. Somewhere around there. And it was also very cold. I do remember that bit. And because I, ha I hadn't actually seen the first two prequels, first two Star Wars prequels, I was like, eh, you know what, maybe I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't watch this too much, because I might get spoilers for, like, the previous parts, and it would ruin the entire build-up of the entire prequel. So I was reasoning, like, Okay, so maybe I'll just stick around for like a couple of minutes and then I'll just go off to bed while everyone's still here. And yeah, that didn't happen to say the least. It, it really, it, it was really cold and <laughs> I didn't really have any ambition to get up. So I was shivering, I was shivering part part of the time with some blankets, of course. But I, I did get some blankets eventually. And, um... Oops. And, yeah, I, w I watched the entire movie <laughs> without seeing the first two prequels. I, I just watched the entirety of Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> Is this a smart decision? No, but... Because now I have no desire to see the, the first two prequels. Apologies. I might see them eventually. Hopefully this year, that, that'd, be, that'd be fun. Seeing the next two prequels. Even though I already know the conclusion. It's fine. It's fine. Star Wars is, is quite a large franchise. My favorite movie. Not sure if this is controversial or not. My favorite movie was Rogue One. It provides sort of a nice little transition between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, in my opinion, because it really smoothly transitions, because, spoilers, if anyone wants to hear this, because if, if not, skip like, I'd say a minute and do it, like, it can be summed up in two words. You know what? No. No, no, no. I'm not going to. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. It's, it's too good of a movie for that. It has one of my favorite lines, though, in any movie. And that is... We have a problem on the horizon. There's no horizon. <laughs> Which, in the context text of the movie is probably more funny than me just saying it to you guys you now. But if you ever if you've ever watched Rogue One, you know what I'm talking about. Man, I, I, I would love to see that movie again. I, I love that. I like that Star Wars movie. Almost done with the first bag. Keep in mind, it's the first bag. <laughs> Second bag, I don't imagine will take that long either, to be honest. Most times when you have bags of Lego, it's usually for a larger set, but this one doesn't seem that large, so... I could be wrong, of course. Typically, I, I get some of these things wrong. <laughs> okay, but 
now we connect the two places together. Ooh, fiery. I feel like... Okay. That's wrong. I've got to put that right. I've got to write that. I feel like I have some... Too many extra pieces. Because I've got like two of these. I'm like, maybe, I need, maybe they'll be in the next step. Oh, okay, they are in the next step. That's what I thought. You know, add a little, a few extra details on the side. All right, that is the first step, it would seem, into making the grand total. The grand, not grand total. The grand epic duel scene on Mustafar. Mustafa. I don't know. Seems like Obi-Wan Kenobi has two faces here. Change it to this face. I think this face probably best represents his internal emotion. If you can see that. It best represents what he's going through in the movie. At least toward the end. We'll stand in there. All right, second bag. There we go. Again, I don't exactly remember where in the movie this is. So, I'm not even sure I remember a giant propeller, to be honest. That's, that's what this is. It's basically like a giant propeller. At least on the side of the building this time. All right, now we have Anakin. All right, where is there's Anakin's clothing? This best represents Anakin's emotion. <laughs> I'm going through this. Another shiny lightsaber part. These are quite nice parts. Quite nice looking, I must admit. Alright, so set Obi-Wan there. He can be dueling Anakin right here. As I build the next part of the set. Alright, let's make it so that I don't cut the instructions on myself. Or knock over any of this, because I don't want to knock over any of this. So we have to build two of these. Interesting. Interesting. All right. All right. So now, it would be wise to unconnect this. Why I connect in the first place? I don't know. I don't like those red things. So I'm just going to shift this just a little bit. That really sounded like the thing was cracking. You have no idea how much anxiety that gave me. If your Lego cracks, it's it's painful. It just is. It's it's very painful. Then you have to replace them. That's not always easy. These pieces seem hard to put together. Is that just the quality of the Lego books themselves? Or... Where's my paranoia? It may be my paranoia. Speaking. I hope it is. Alright, so these are going to go... to this. <laughs> ah, these are getting quite hard to pull apart. Is that intentional? 
I don't know, that doesn't seem very intentional to me. I wouldn't think. Anyway. No matter, I'll just worry about this whenever I uh, put, take apart the set later. And that in itself is going to be maybe a little harder than putting it together. I could do a separate video for taking it apart. <laughs> no. No. That's boring. You'd rather watch a see you'd rather I know you guys would rather watch a person put something together than take it apart. It's the whole point of a Lego. You don't need to destroy it. You can keep it up as long as you want. If you don't want it up, that's fine. You can just take it apart later. Also this fire piece came off for no reason. That's a lot. Kinda of weird. So, do that. Ah, spinny platforms. There are certainly a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans. I am not one to speak on LEGO, LEGO's accuracy with the movies. Because I'm not I'm not a Star Wars aficionado, but I can enjoy a good Star Wars set, a good Star Wars Lego set. I don't have many of them. I have maybe three now that I have that I own this one. I think actually. That, that po the poly bag one probably counts. So it's probably more like four. But they're all really small. I might put together like the other big Star Wars set I have. Oh wait, no, I have no, I have five Star Wars sets because I've shown I've showed you I showed you guys the port. Okay, so five Star Wars Lego sets. Cause okay. So I've got the port, which is right next to where the camera is sitting. I, I showed you that guys that in the um, in the Minecraft chicken coop video. I also have this set, so that's two. And then a uh, set that is basically the scene of the last, basically um, the last Jedi. It has a small porg, just a small porg. It also has Ray and Luke. It's a very cool, very very nice set, very comic set. And we all, I also have an R two D two set, or rather a set with R two D two. Basically, one of the first th scenes from the the um, A New Hope, where they're uh, fleeing to the desert planet. Tatooine? Yes, it's Tatooine. Goodness, I don't want to make any Star Wars fans angry. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's the Tatooine scene. Where they uh, flee to Tatooine and they eventually end up with Luke. Thus beginning the entire movie. for my uh, misinfor my sometimes misinformation about Star Wars. This is coming along really nicely, I'd say. I would hope it's coming along really nicely. If it's not, then one of you at home has to warn me now. Or I mess up the set entirely. Oh no. That would not be good. Alright, so we've got this now. Pop it on there. Hopefully you guys can see all that. I, I hope I'm not blocking any of you. I can't obviously see from the perspective of what you guys would be seeing. I could be messing up the entire video right now just because of like one or two things, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I 
think I think it's going well as far as filming goes. As far as filming goes, filming goes, it's 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 pretty nice. As far as building goes, this is very good build quality. Except for the fire falling off there, but I'm pretty sure that was my fault. So yes. Now for some little pieces. Pieces on the side there. Pieces on the back, actually. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Don't worry. I don't know, Rona. <laughs> right then. Getting close to completing this thing, actually. It's quite nice. Admit. Yeah, okay, these are separate than the back. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Don't tell me there's a missing piece. No, of course not. It's just under the booklet. <laughs> Silly me. Wonder what other sets I could build on the channel. Like not every set takes thirty minutes for a camera to build. Sometimes it takes a lot longer, <laughs> and I'd probably need to divide some of them to parts. It would be that tricky. Like take for example, I have I have quite a few big sets. For example, I have a Lego Chima set. Just basically, if you know what I'm talking about. A um essentially it's a palace. It's the Lion's Palace. From the series Chima. And uh it's huge and comes with many characters, some of which I don't have because I was a failure at keeping my Lego sets together, <laughs> at least all the parts together. <laughs> Dang, I love that series. I don't know why they discontinued it. I mean, Ninjago's fine, but I really like, I really like things with animals. As you can tell, since my profile picture is a cat, and since I do enforce the message of petting your cat, it's kind of a big deal to me, you know. <laughs> All right, so we have the giant propeller. Or rather, is this rather the side of a building? What the heck is that about? All right. Also have over here. Wait, something's not right here. Oh, it's because it's not that smooth. I see. Get it working here. Okay, gotta load up some. Uh, that's here. That's the launcher. Gotta be careful, of course, that you don't hit anything. Because, as the instructions say, don't hit it in the eye, because and then the eye will. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be helpful for anyone. Let's just say that. So, we can move this up and down, up and down and all about. And then, we put that together like that, oops, three pieces falling, move this together like this, quite nice. Which would be optimal? 
for the high ground scene, or for a representation of the high ground scene. Hmm. Neither really. But that's okay. We'll, we'll work with something. Currently here, Anakin has the high ground. At least in the official display thing. These are quite cool, you can just rotate them. There's a lot of interactivity with this set. Yeah. All right, so let us recreate the high ground scene because that was the entire point of me getting the set was to recreate the high ground scene. <laughs> Just because. Okay, for this, I want to make it so like Anakin's legs fall off. I didn't know if it's possible to do that, because if you know what I'm talking about in the movie, that, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Make it loose so it's not too hard to pull it off. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> I will attempt to do a representation of the voices as well. This this could go very terribly. All right. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Oh. <laughs> no, his, his body would definitely be more like here. His legs would be. Nope. Gone in the lava. <laughs> that is what happens when you uh try try to get the high ground from someone. You get absolutely wrecked. I gotta make sure my skills. But for this scene, that's not where this starts. It starts like this. Like this. You can have it like that. You can have it like this. If you want to. Look at this. So, yes, now for the review of the set. There are quite a few epic and very interactive elements of this. We got the little lava pusher thing. Shoom. That's very cool. We also have, whoops. We also have the lifty um, lava flowing thing. I, th I guess that's what that, I don't know what that is actually. We also have the ability to clip here and here, as well as full 360 degree motion on these things. Let's make Obi-Wan dizzy to your heart's content, if you so choose. This can provide for some epic battle moments, like here. Obviously, with Lego hands, you can't really do the whole 360 uh, motion, but you can, however, make them clash. Dun. Dun, dun. Anyway. And that is what happens, folks, when you don't have the high ground. Anyway, so yes, I give the set a solid 10 out of 10. And I think I'm gonna pose it like, I don't wanna break this. Oh gosh, why does it sound like it's breaking? That just makes me concerned that it's gonna break. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. 
just noticed there's these little grip things at the back where you can hang these keep spilling out. Okay, hang these keep spilling out. Just noticed there's a little grip thing at the back where you can just you know pull it and clash. Boop. Boop. So exciting. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this long build. Remember, guys, to go pet your cat. I need to stop pushing this thing. Dang it. See you guys later. Goodbye, good night, and go pet your cat.